Okay, so is this really an upset if you could find reasons for them to win? So I don't think this is an upset, okay? First of all, the Big East is very tough conference to win. So I don't consider anything a really a big upset in this conference. But an upset is something where you can't figure out like a reason for them to even win the game. But if you can find reasons, it's not an upset. So Iowa, Michigan, this would be an upset here if Iowa won because no one expects Iowa to win this game with this poor record. They have a losing record, okay? And the public is not going to bet Michigan here, okay? Public isn't betting Michigan here at this line at, at minus 11. That is why they blew out Iowa, okay? You see, when you see these favorites cover like this, it doesn't mean that the public is betting on this team. Okay, first of all, the line is going down. So I don't know why the line would be going down here one point towards Iowa. You know, there's actually probably more money taking Iowa in this matchup for some reason. Okay, but that's how they balance these lines out because 11 – it makes you kind of skeptical to even take Michigan here. So this is why these teams get blown out, okay? Michigan won by more than 11 here, and they covered. But the public isn't taking Michigan here. Just because you see the percentage here at 80%, say, for instance, it said 70% on Michigan, that doesn't mean that 70% of the money is taking Michigan, okay? So that is why Michigan would win here in this situation. But see, this is not a game that I'm – involved in it's this game right here because if you look at this matchup you can find reasons why providence would win this game okay that's why this would not be an upset all right so i'm going to get back to that game real quick this game right here duke all right okay let's see this game had really no movement here duke blew him out doesn't mean that the public is taking Duke. I think that public money was actually taking Virginia Tech. Even though more tickets were taking Duke, it doesn't mean that the money is on Duke. Okay. Look who Virginia Tech just upset in their previous game. All right. I believe they upset Virginia. Okay. Are they gonna take are they gonna take Duke at minus eleven? If Virginia Tech just upset Virginia, see how it works? Okay, there's some other matchups here. But, you, you know, you just got to use some common sense. You know, these favorites won. Xavier won. Okay. Auburn. This one landed right on the 10, right on 9.5, 10, right where the line was. Okay. But this is the matchup that I'm focused in on, okay? Providence, there's a reason why Providence won this game. First of all, they're at home, okay? The Big East is very tough. Providence is at home. It's a very big indicator here. And Providence just lost to DePaul, okay? So the public is not going to take Providence in this matchup. They just lost to DePaul. So they're going to be more than happy for the public to be betting on Villanova here, okay? So you know the public is going to be all over Villanova in this matchup. Providence, like I said, lost to DePaul, so they're going to be more motivated to play Villanova, and they're going to play for the casinos, okay? They're going to have a competitive matchup in this. Uh, they're going to have a competitive game in this matchup, okay? So once this game was – once Providence had a four-point lead at halftime, I knew that there was a high probability that Providence – would take this game and win this game outright, okay? Villanova, you know, came off of a win, and this just made it such a big play because you know no one's going to take Providence after they lost to DePaul. The public likes to bet on teams that either did well or did bad, and then they look at the last matchup to see where they're going to go, and then that's how you determine. That is how you get the the public percentage on these teams okay so providence was up by four at halftime the second half line they are gonna 
they're gonna make it like half of what the the game line was okay so it's gonna be like six seven points at halftime okay let's see how close I was in the second half line I'm gonna say it's seven okay so they made the line eight seven and a half so it was pretty close so they covered the second half line the game line and they won the game outright with the public being all over Villanova so there's a very strong correlation where teams that win the first half most likely are going to win the second half if you done if you've looked at the right angles and you've looked at reasons why a team would win in the first place okay so like I went over some of these other examples just like this game right here this uh, this Duke Virginia Tech game it's only common sense that most people are not going to take Duke in this matchup okay even though they're the 12th ranked team in the country they're not going to take Duke in this matchup because of the fact that Virginia Tech just upset Virginia okay so that is why they're not going to bet Duke at minus 11 here because they think Virginia Tech is going to stay competitive again because they just upset Virginia in the last game. Okay. So that is how, you know, that is how the public's minds work. Okay. But this was a very good matchup here. Providence Villanova, like I said, any, any team in the Big East is very tough. You know, that's why I don't consider this an upset here. And given all those reasons, Providence losing to DePaul, that was a big factor because they got embarrassed by a team that they shouldn't have lost to. And now they go and play Villanova, which they would be more than motivated to play against. Okay. And this is where the casinos make their money. So I'll be back with some more videos. So comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you then.